So what's going on in the truther movement? It seems like a mess. But what is it really? Is it a lesson that we get to learn before we see everything else collapse as far as in our local communities? Before we see our local politicians, our mayors, the judge down the street, those kind of people, maybe some of the police officers, it just depends on your town. But not everybody is good and definitely not everyone is absolutely pure. So everybody that's a human being is a different shade of gray. And it really just depends who you're looking at. And I'm not going to say who's good and who's bad because that's my perception. And also, we're getting a lot of information that is probably good from people that might be bad. And I think some of them have lost their way along the way because money has been more enticing maybe or the attention has been more enticing but really it's just a lesson in discernment because this is a microchasm of what's about to happen across the whole planet well <laughs> not the whole planet but where we're at so basically you know Every country that we know of is going to go through a huge time where people have to learn how to discern what's true and what's not. And we have to relearn this because we used to know. So getting upset about which truth or is telling the truth or what their motives are really isn't worth getting that upset over. Really, it's about us. Because we want to take our power back. And we need to know what's true and what's not. We don't need someone to tell us what's true and what's not. But another thing to think about is what are their, what's their stance? You know, are they continuing or perpetuating the gossip or are they staying out of it? So that's another gauge on who's a good idea to listen to or not. But I just wanted to bring this up because we as humanity have to be more discerning and we have to follow into our intuition better. And I think we will pretty soon here. And I think we're all learning it. But this is also just another eye-opening thing that's going on. And it's happening right before everything else happens. So if you can just look at it objectively and realize that you're the one who actually makes the decisions... And we as humanity actually make decisions. And none of the people that have been in power or have been on YouTube or have been on the TV, none of them actually have the power unless we give it to them. So I just wanted to bring that up and let you think about it. Because I've been thinking about it a lot and trying to think about how to talk about it because they've all given us something good. They've all given us optimism for the future. We've all learned a lot about what this world has been and it's important now that people who fall away who are not what we thought they were, 
that we just learn that and we let it go. And we also become more and more discerning every day. And I think that's going to get easier because our gifts are going to be returned to us. But just to make it a little easier, I wanted to bring that up. Because you're the one with the power. You're the one who knows the truth deep inside. And you're the one who can judge what you think is true and what's not true. No matter who it's coming from. And I think it's a great time to be optimistic. Because something beautiful is about to happen. We're about to see the fall of the old empire and the rise of something really good for humanity. So I just wanted to say hello, bring that up, tell you guys to have a beautiful day, the rest of it anyway, and just enjoy yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.